the Republican Party of Texas has increased its support for parental rights and parental choice in education. In mid-June, I and the THSC team spent our time at almost a week in the, the uh, hot, humid uh, environments of Houston, Texas, as we attended the Republican Party of Texas convention. The Republican Party of Texas convention is the largest convention of delegates in the free world. There are almost 5,000 delegates there, and that is the event in which the Republican Party of Texas comes together and delegates elected from the local level all over the state of Texas representing the party come together and they do several things. Number one, they uh, elect a, a party officers, chairman, vice chairman, and a committee man and a committee woman from each senatorial district to represent the state of Texas on their board of directors. Secondly, they adopt a platform. That is, they adopt a position, a statement of positions that reflect the position of the Republican Party of Texas. And this year, uh, uh, unlike, I should say, like many other years, we have done, uh, uh, we adopted a very long platform, 275 planks. That's a, that's a long platform. But it reflects the position of the Republican Party of Texas as presented by its delegates. So the interesting thing about this platform, uh, people sometimes say to me, Tim, why, why, does the, why does the Republican Party, why do the parties, the political parties matter? Well, they matter because the political parties are set up to reflect the position of the, the, the delegates who attend these conventions and adopt a platform that reflects the position of that party. And then those delegates hope and expect that their elected officials in the state legislature will adopt legislation to reflect the values and positions reflected in that platform. And uh, many years ago, in fact, almost 40 years ago, when Lindsay and I started homeschooling our children in 1984, uh, we lived in an environment uh, in this state where the attorney general was seeking to outlaw homeschooling. Uh, people were being prosecuted for homeschooling under the compuls compulsory attendance statute. And so we were looking for ways, how do we, how do we defend the fundamental God-given right of parents to raise their kids as they see fit, including educating them at home. And so one of the things that we did in the 1980s was we encouraged people to go to their precinct convention to adopt resolutions supporting homeschooling, to send that up and go to the convention uh, to uh, work for the adoption of a plank supporting home education. In 1992, I should say I went to my first Republican convention in 1986, and in 1992, I got myself uh, appointed to the Republican Party of Texas Platform Committee. And I worked to get myself on the Education Subcommittee. And uh, shockingly, uh, there, were th there were about five to seven of us on that committee. Three of us were homeschoolers. And that was the beginning of the love affair, the support between the Republican Party of Texas and the homeschool community. We convinced that committee and later the whole platform committee and the, the delegates at that convention to adopt a plank saying that we support the fundamental right of parents to raise their kids as they see fit and we support home education. And furthermore, we oppose efforts, any effort to regulate homeschooling. I'm happy to tell you that that plank is still in the platform. It's plank, plank 102 and uh, it continues to be in there um, and this year we saw an increase of support. So let me explain how this works. So you have a platform, you adopt it, and what the party started doing several years ago is they started adopting a what they call a uh, legislative priority. So they take uh, several, I think they take the top 15 and say these are the most important issues to us, and we want those to be a focus of support by our uh, legislators uh, in the Texas legislature. So two years ago, uh, all of this was done online. It was a mess. If you've talked to anybody, it was horrific. Um, and our, we worked really hard. We could not get parental rights or homeschooling or parental authority, anything like that, 
uh, in the top uh, eight is what they choose. This year, depending on how you count those, uh, of the top eight, about four of them are related to children. And one of them, I'm happy to say, is the issue of parental rights and education and school choice. So let me just read to you the plank that's in there this time. Pr plank 103, parental rights and education. Parents are the primary educators and disciplinarians of their children to which all others are inferior. The fundamental right of parents to make decisions regarding upbringing and control of their children in all aspects, but especially in all aspects of Texas education system, shall be recognized, affirmed, and protected by changes to the Texas Constitution, to the Texas law, including codifying protections currently existing in the Texas Family and Education Codes. No public service entity, nor its agent, district personnel, community partners, or district boards of trustees shall infringe upon these rights. Now, that is strong language. And I should tell you that there were a lot of us homeschoolers at that convention. I, I only half-jokingly told my wife the only people there that knew me were the, the old-timers who've been involved as long as I have, many of them homeschoolers, and the current homeschoolers. So I'm, I, that is one way we help protect our right to homeschool by participating in these political parties and getting them to adopt these planks supporting our positions. So let me just read to you the eight priorities determined by the delegates at that convention uh, and they are dramatic, I shouldn't say dramatically, they do increase the support for parental rights versus what it was two years ago. So these are the eight priorities. Protect our elections, ban Democrat chairs in the state legislature, abolish uh, abortion in Texas, uh, stop sexualizing Texas kids. This relates specifically to, specifically to obscenity in the current libraries and the public schools. Ban gender modification of children. Uh, let me just read that one to you. Texas must ban chemical castration, uh, puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, genital mutilation, bodily alteration surgery, psychological and social transitioning, and any other methods applied, applied to or performed on children. Uh, secure the border and protect, children, protect Texans. And my favorite, parental rights and education reform. Parents are the primary decision makers for their children in all matters. This authority shall be protected as an inalienable right. This shall include the choice of schooling where the money flows, excuse me, the money follows the child without strings attached, and enforcement and penalty mechanism when parents' rights are violated. The right to education shall be free from any social theories. That is a dramatic increase in the focus on the fundamental right of parents. And I'm happy to say that that is the position of the Republican Party of Texas. And we will be working in this next legislative session uh, next spring to help Im implement those things, to protect the fundamental God-given right of parents, to raise their children as they see fit, and to enhance the choices that parents have. So if I saw you at the convention, thanks for coming up and saying hello. Uh, thank you for all of you who've been there for many, many years. I hope all of you will participate in the future. I hope you'll share this video, uh, like it, uh, subscribe to our channel, and follow us. And thank you for helping us keep Texas families free.